afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Martz from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. It is December the 5th today, and I had filmed this area a couple days ago on logs that were not cut up, and I think it's like 82 trucks. On Hilton Head that are working seven days a week according to the island packet picking up what's called debris piles such as this and you see you know my god it's not easy just to pick up one single log especially that one in the middle you see how heavy it would be so it's very labor intensive and it is it's just mind-blowing um so again October 8th was Hurricane Hugo, and even though these debris piles are, you know, being picked up, there seem to be more and more trees that keep getting added to the piles. And I'm on Union Cemetery Road, just have the iPad so I can't zoom in or anything, but I just was driving down the highway and I saw this pile here with more logs that were cut up. and. Uh, you know, I just came out of Palmetto Dunes, as a matter of fact, and, God, the whole entire landscape has changed. You know, and you've been here as long as I have, 29 years, but hey, even someone who's been here around for five would have, you know, what it generally looks like when you drive in the Sea Pines or Palmetto Dunes. You kind of know how it should be, and take a look at this, just one single tree. Look at the root ball, and... You know, some people have taken advantage of the hurricane and are cutting down more trees than they should without the proper permits. And guess what, folks? The next good rain you have, it's going to be a lot of erosion and, um, and a lot less shade. And we had the highest summer that I can recall, and it was, it was brutal, you know? I could barely be out in the sun for a short time, and... If you don't have the trees to provide the shade, it's going to be very difficult. And, uh, hello, global warming. So, I don't like to get into, um, too much of how sad this hurricane situation was. Because, you know, it was mainly, uh, structures on the island. I think it was like over 2,000, uh, that got affected. And, um... Not so much loss of life, obviously, what went down on Haiti and that type of thing. And Myrtle Beach had significant flooding. And all around, there was all, all sorts of areas on 95 and around that got flooded. So we were lucky in one regard that it was only a Category 2. But you see the destruction, my God, on just a Category 2. So we'll sign off with this. Look, look how huge this tree was. Um, you know, again, you, God, I, I'm just blown away by the root system. Uh, again, you know, no one sits around and stares at the bottom of a tree. And you have to remember this. You can see the soil is super loamy. I think that's the right word. See how gray it is? And um, so all this right here, of course, would be underground. But these edges here, it just was a magnificent tree. And um, I think I'm on the edge of Port Royal Plantation. All right, guys, we're signing off. And you know what? I'm going to show you one more root system here. What a beautiful tree this was as well. All right, we're signing off from Hilton Head Island post-Hurricane Matthew. Have a great day.